What's going on, Bears fans? Welcome to another episode of Chicago Bears Central. And it's been a minute. Unfortunately, we had our longest stretch of not dropping an episode, so I do apologize without leaving you guys without a dope pod to step to. But nonetheless, we're back. We're going to be a quick one this week. Happy Fourth of July to everyone, by the way, as well. Let's go ahead and get into the topic. Today, we'll be talking about will Eddie Jackson have a bounce back year for the Chicago Bears, considering the youth and the new swag around that secondary? We'll get into that and also talk about Sports Illustrated Connor Orr naming Darnell Mooney as one of the most underrated players in the NFL. We'll get into all that and more on today's Chicago Bears Central. You are now tuned in to Chicago Bears Central, your number one place for all Chicago Bears news and content. All right, Bears fans. No, it's been a minute. Um, unfortunately, it's 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 very quiet times around the NFL, unless your team's still kind of willing and dealing and doing things like that. Once training camp gets back open, uh, it'll be it'll be a lot more regular flow coming in once preseason starts, stuff like that. We are not too far away. It's going to be really exciting times. Can't wait for the season to start. But I wanted to talk to you guys about this uh, this morning and ask this question. Will Eddie Jackson have a bounce back year this year for the Chicago Bulls? And the reason why I throw this out there, Chicago Bulls, Chicago Bears, <laughs> the reason why I throw that out there is that there's a lot of excitement around this uh, this new youth movement in the Bears secondary. And because of that, you know, uh, Eddie Jackson is now moving into being, as he gets ready to turn 29 in December, uh, a veteran on this team now and somebody that is going to be looked at to probably mentor these younger players. And even in his own quote, I'm going to read a direct quote from him. He says, it's something different. It's something different. We're flying around. I can't emphasize that more. Everyone is flying around the effort we're giving. And when you have young guys that's out there that's willing to work, they're willing to take the coaching. They're willing to do whatever it takes to buy in and are making plays on the ball. Just having that swag, having fun, that's the best thing that I like about the young secondary that we have right now. So will that new sag, swag kind of reinvigorate Eddie Jackson? And what we're talking about in that is that, you know, Eddie Jackson, has, has not, it's not a fall off, right? He's just, it's, 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 he's not quite had the impact that he had at one point in his career. For example, looking at it, when targeted in 2018 through 2019, he had passer ratings when targeted against him of 40.5 and 57.6. Now let's go from 2018 to 2020. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, let's go to go to the last couple of seasons. He's had uh, passer ratings when targeted of 143.6 and 110.1. So that's 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 <laughs> quite a bit of difference there. And, you know, we've heard this things around the secondary of they're going to attack the ball and force turnovers, right? That's going to be the moniker of this secondary and hopefully of the defense overall. So, you know, asking that question if this is going to help Eddie Jackson bounce back, have a quote unquote bounce back year, I think that's a relatively reasonable question to ask. And really looking at Eddie Jackson, he's going to need to have a good season if he does want to come back with the Chicago Bears next season. And so in that, you know, will he improve? Will the will the new energy around the team and the secondary, having a a defensive minded head coach and Matt Eberflus, will that help Eddie Jackson have a bounce back year? Let's also talk about his tackling. While he's never been the best tackler, right? Um, in in 2018 through 2020, uh, he had uh, missed tackle percentages of 17.7, 15.5, and 13.7. Now he has improved. In the last couple of seasons, that having having a nine point five missed tackle percentage, while still not the best, it's it's definitely improving. So that's the question that I want to ask you guys: Will Eddie Jackson have a bounce back year? Will he be with the Chicago Bears long term? What do you guys see for Eddie Jackson when it comes to his career with the Bears? Um, let me know everything down below and what you think about that. For one, we know what Eddie Jackson can be. We know how good he can be. We know everything about it. Um. Eddie Jackson is a very, very solid player, and this secondary is going to be, at least by by my hopes, um, is going to be a very good and big part of what the Chicago Bears team does in mentoring the younger players and things like that. So, you know, Eddie Jackson even admit, admitting that 2021 was a was a failure for him. He said that it was a horrible season for for himself. So this isn't anything that's too controversial, but we do want to know. Is is that is he going to have a bounce back year from a season that he called himself his worst season? So let me know what you guys think about that down below. What do you think? Do you think Eddie Jackson is going to have the type of season that is going to keep him around for the Chicago Bears on another contract? 
What do you guys think about everything down below? Let me know that. Now, before we go, I do have another topic as well. And this one is Connor Orr from Sports Illustrated named Darnell Mooney as one of the most underrated players in the NFL. Now, he did break it down by NFC, AFC. Um, Darnell Mooney was on that one. And as we prepare for Darnell Mooney and coming into the season where he's going to be the clear number one option, he's going to be the number one wide receiver, and he's going to be giving a lot of opportunities. Do you think that, you know, him, A, him being named and having any type of positivity around the Bears with the national media has been huge, even though we don't need it. Screw the national media. We know what this team's going to do. We know the work they're going to put in, and we know that this team isn't expected to get a lot of wins, but that doesn't mean we can't have some very big positives to come out during the course of the season. But I will say that seeing Darnell Mooney's name listed as one of the more underrated players heading into 2022 did make me smile a little bit. And knowing the work that he's put in, knowing the um, the, the chemistry between him and Justin Fields and how they've worked on that, I do think that, you know, Darnell Mooney being named here, he's going to show a lot of people. And a lot of people are probably going to be surprised by what Darnell Mooney is able to do as a number one option and receiver on the Chicago Bears team. Now, I've also, you know, guys, I, I put up a poll uh, in the last couple of weeks, which I'll go ahead and bring up as well about the uh, about the overall receiving core. But hearing hearing this and seeing this, and I'm going to uh, read a little, uh, uh, just a little bit from uh, Connor Orr's uh, article here. And he says this, I'm in a bit of a kerfuffle with Bears Twitter at the moment over my take on Justin Fields. That said, I still appreciate Mooney, who thrived in one of the most broken offs- offenses in the NFL last year. His abilities after the catch are borderline reminiscent of vintage Odell Beckham Jr., allowing him to vacate space and uh, allowing him to turn vacant space into a very dangerous weapon. I venture to guess that if Chicago pulls off any stunning upsets this year, it would be in games where Mooney goes off. Four of his six best games were wins in Chicago's last year, including a five catch, 125 yard performance against the Lions, in which he was virtually un. Guardable. It's great to hear that notice. It's great to hear those comparisons. It's great to get that acknowledgement of what Darnell Mooney and how dangerous he can be. The question really around him isn't is Darnell Mooney a good wide receiver? I don't think that that's any type of question at all that anybody has. We know he's a damn good wide receiver. The question is can he be a clear cut number one wide receiver on a successful team? A lot of us have that faith that he can be. That still doesn't mean that the Bears aren't going to have to go after, and we hope that they will, and add to this wide receiving core. Will they need to add another player as good, if not better, than Darnell Mooney to see how successful they can be? But at the end of the day, we know what Darnell Mooney can be. As I like to say, and you guys know this is one of my sayings, that I say, this is Chicago, baby, right? We like players that step up, players that have a bit of a chip on their shoulder, and Darnell Mooney has that. He's very good representation of that, and I love him representing this team. Those are the only really question marks around Darnell Mooney. Not is he good, is if he can be great and if he can be the, the true number one wide receiver on a successful team. And those questions may start to be answered this season. I don't expect them to be answered fully because we, don't, we know that the Chicago Bears may not have the most wins this season. But let me know what you guys think about that one down below. Do you think... Uh, how do you feel about Darnell Mooney being rated as one of the most underrated players in the NFL? Do you agree that he is an underrated player in this league? And then lastly, one of the questions that is going to keep being asked, and, and we won't have the answer for a while there, do you think that Darnell Mooney is going to show this season that he is a number one wide receiver in this league and can be on a successful team? Let me know what you guys think about all that down below. That is it for Chicago Bears Central today. Thank you for tuning in. I did miss you guys. We'll get back to the daily content here this week, even if it's just speculative content like this leading into the into training camp and the opening of preseason. Let me know what you think about videos like this that are really just kind of conversational with you, with you guys. Not really a lot of news to go over right now, but a lot of good conversational pieces built around this team. Now, before we do go, I do want to get into the last poll and give the results to that um, before we leave. And the question that I asked in the poll was, who has more receiving yards for the Chicago Bears this upcoming season? And that is going to be, and the options were Velius Jones or Byron Pringle. Now, we know Byron Pringle is probably coming in as the clear number two wide receiver on this, and we expect Velius Jones to be the number three. But after 429 votes, Velius Jones won this clear cut with 63% of the votes and Byron Pringle with 37%. I didn't. I'm, I won't lie to you guys. I did not expect it to go that way. But the more that we hear about Velius Jones, 
the more I like, right? The more I like and the more I think that he is going to probably have an impact in year one. Let me know down below. Do you guys agree, disagree? And let's put a number on it. Let me know how many receiving yards do you think Velius Jones is going to be able to get in his rookie year? Let me know all that down below as well. And before we go, we do have our four, first voicemail on the show. This one is from the 757. He did not leave his name, unfortunately, but we're going to go ahead and read this uh, or play this voicemail right now. Hey, hey, I was calling about them Bears, man. Hey, my goodness, man. Dan Olowski talking about Justin Fields. Hey, man, and 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 your boy Lewis Riddick. I I, I think Lewis Riddick upset with the Bears because they didn't hire him as the GM. Dan Olowski, a bust in the NFL. I, I, I'm 67 years old. I watched him years and years do nothing. Now he's trying to talk about a young boy who got much talent and his potential going to shine this year. Hey man, my name is Trenoff Rogers. Been a Bears fan since I was 10. And I go hard for my Chicago Bears. Ain't nothing like being... <laughs> <laughs> a monster of the midway. All right. Bless y'all in shot time. Peace. All right. And that one was, he did leave his voicemail. That one is from Trenton. Um, and so, hey, thank you so much for leaving that voicemail. Make sure, guys, like I plug the voicemail at the end of every show, you leave your voicemail as well. Um, so you can get acknowledged on the show. And Lewis Riddick, yes, he's absolutely upset. Absolutely upset that he didn't uh get hired. Uh, we know we know things like that. And I talked about it in that video. Could I have Talked about it in a little bit. Listen, my alter ego, Petty Roosevelt, took over the episode. But yes, absolutely agree with everything that Trenton said here. Um, I think that it's clear. And the, this this Bears team is going to prove a lot for people. Like I like you, my saying, this is Chicago, baby. Put Give us everything. Every chip on the shoulder that this team can use. Every bit of headline that they can use for motivation. Give it all to us. Because while, yes, the Bears aren't going to like go on a super big playoff run unless some things all come together for the Chicago Bears, I think they're going to prove a lot of people and a lot of naysayers wrong in this season, in my opinion, right? Could be completely wrong in that, but I do believe that that's going to be the case for the Chicago Bears, as I know a lot of Chicago Bears fans do as well. But again, let me know. Thank you. Hey, thank you, Trenton, for uh, sending that in. Let us know down below, guys. What do you think about the Chicago Bears and players stepping up and how it's going to go this season? Do you agree with Trenton? Do you kind of more so agree with the national media? I think some Bears fans do understand some of the the – the doubt from the national media, but I think it's the it's the way in which it comes out from some people is just like, hey man, come on, listen here, listen here, this Chicago baby. But uh, all right, thank you so much for Trenton for leaving that voicemail. But that is it for Chicago Bears Central today, the daily episode. Make sure you're following the show at Shy Bear Central on every social media platform. You can also send us any feedback, questions, comments, concerns. Chicago Bears Central at gmail.com. And then lastly, if you want to leave a text and our voicemail, the number to do so is 773-270-2799. Thank you again for tuning in to Chicago Bears Central. Like I liked in every episode on. Love you guys. Go Bears. Peace, y'all. Bear down. Bear down. This has been a presentation of the Break Break Media. Break Media.